Take a look at this poster. Does anything on it communicate that it's going to be about a kidnapping? Well, it is, so, okay, let's review it. Everybody knows it's the latest film from Asghar Farhadi and stars Penelope Cruz and Javier Bardem as this family is just thrown into this kidnapping situation. And as a result of the kidnapping, there's a lot of family drama that comes about. I had a good time at the movies. Except for the mouth breathers that wouldn't turn off their phones or shut up long enough to actually take in what was going on. There's a scene where something happens and it's not explicitly stated. And for some reason, some person in the audience decided to announce what happened on screen as if we were all idiots. There's also a twist in this film. I saw it coming maybe about 40 minutes out. It's not heavily telegraphed. It's just you can kind of see the pieces and they're there so you can make the logical assumption and it turns out to be the right one. The twist was explicitly stated in the film. And then this person in the audience felt the need to whisper the revelation to the person that was sitting next to him. I'm just like, well, yeah, I think we're also watching the same movie. Your partner is too. It was just on screen in the subtitles. By the way, this is a film that is entirely in Spanish. So if you don't really like subtitles, if you can't really keep up with the fast pace of subtitles, this might not be for you. There's a lot of really good cinematography here and while it's nothing spectacular, there are some nice visual elements. The editing is pretty good. The sound design is something that I also really enjoyed. I thought it was really well done. And there's not really a score to this film. Like, yeah, there's some music in this wedding sequence that takes place at the beginning. You hear music as you would at like a wedding reception. But outside of that, I can't recall a single scene where there was music, which is great because everything's relying solely on the actor's performance to elicit an emotion, not some over-the-top music to kind of manipulate you. Sometimes the film can get a little bit repetitive with some of the scenes. There's this big conflict, like I said at the beginning, of this family and I guess an outsider, like a friend of the family, and there's a mass amount of land for a vineyard. Everybody's trying to figure out, did you kidnap the person? Did you kidnap the person? And they're all coming at it with this uncertainty. They don't know who to trust. They can't be sure because of something that happened 16 to 17 years ago. And that's really cool, but they keep bringing it up and it just feels like that's the only thing that they really had to rely on to create a lot of drama in this film. It's not bad. The scenes themselves are well acted and pretty well constructed. It's just, I probably would have just liked a little something else outside of that family drama. It's interesting. And they definitely play with the title, Everybody Knows, because there's a scene where everybody thinks they got it figured out, and so it can be interpreted as like a sarcastic version of Everybody Knows. Oh, everybody knows it's this guy. Everybody knows. Everybody knows who it is. And then there's a revelation, like I said, and they're trying to figure out, okay, well, the person who did this would have to have known that secret. But everybody knows. Everybody knows the secret. So, great. Everybody knows. How are we going to figure this mystery out? On top of that, the ending isn't entirely satisfying. We get a resolution to the kidnapping, but we don't really see any justice done to the perpetrator, which I get was done on purpose, but from an audience perspective, it doesn't really feel fulfilling. The beginning of the film is also a little bit muddled. It was kind of hard to get invested in that first 15, 20 minutes. There's, it starts out with this wedding, and so as with weddings, a bunch of people come around, and especially for, you know, Latin American families, lots of people coming around. If you've ever been to a Hispanic gathering, they get enormous. And so there's just these characters being thrown at you, and, okay, well, who's this character? Who's this character? Oh, here's a new character. It was just kind of hard to keep track of everybody. It wasn't awful, and once the film definitely settles into the plot, it gets a lot easier. It's just this massive amount of information that the director just kind of wants you to take in and understand. I do like that there's a bit of a Hitchcockian twist in this film. So you start out with this wedding and you think that this is going to be the big thing and you know the poster obviously misleads you into thinking that it's a, a romantic film or a romantic drama and then it just completely turns that on its head and you get this kidnapping story. It very much reminded me of the focus shift in Psycho. Oh no, I had a really good time with this film, but there are some problems with it. I can't say for certain that I'd revisit it, but as it stands, everybody knows gets a B. 
This is a limited release, so if you have a chance, I would recommend go seeing it, at least for the acting. That alone is worth the price of admission. So if you have seen it, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me over on Facebook, and I will see you next time.